Maybe Brick will do the trick. Wow, I'm a poet. Hey everyone, so you might have seen them before and always wondered how you do them. Well, today I'm going to show you how to build real slanted roofs on Welcome to Bloxburg. And it's actually quite sad that we still don't really have a method to do it properly, but this is the best we can do right now. So what you do is you build the shell for your house. So for example, I do want a single story with a nice roof in the middle that goes up. So let me build my cabin just like that. Oh my God, I was struggling already and we haven't even started on the roof. Now before we continue, I must say that you do need multiple floors and advanced placing. Now if you're gonna build it on the first floor, like you just want a very small A-frame house, of course you can build your A-frame on the ground just like that. Maybe that's what we're gonna do, I don't know yet. I kind of do want a small A-frame house. Now I don't want my roof to go all the way up here, so I'm gonna make it a little bit lower than that. So what you do next, you go into structural and then you click this horizontal plank, you go to custom place and then you start creating your roof like that. Now, as you can see, it's inverted for me. Doesn't really matter. I kind of like an overhang, so we're gonna go with that. And I think my roof will be this height. Now, what you do now is you just create your shape like that. So you go into the corner here and then do the same thing over. As you can see, I wasn't really leveled, but we're gonna be fixing that, of course. And then sometimes it inverts, so it's really a pain sometimes to create a roof that fits your vibe. But yeah, we're gonna try and we're gonna see where we get with this. This was the height I used. Now I do think that this one is a little bit whooshy. So we're gonna continue like this and then just finish the roof like that. Now it does take some time to get everything right, but the end result is so worth it. And the fact that your roof inverts sometimes is just annoying, but we'll look over that. Now, before we continue, I am going to select a material that I do want on the roof. Maybe I'll go for a metal roof this time. You can also create an overhang by, let's for example, go into storage and then like this. And if I want my roof to be longer, I'm gonna move it a little bit. So if I want to create a little overhang here, here. What I do is I copy that, I click on this part, and then I go to where I want it to be. As you can see, it's a little bit weirdly angled, but if you place just a little bit higher, it will create an overhang like that, and that's how you do it. Then you can just remove the shelf that you placed, and there you go, you have your overhang. Now I'm not gonna go for an overhang, I'm gonna keep it simple like this, and I'm gonna pick a roof material. And for this one, I'm just gonna go for the metal roof and the oyster color, and then paste it onto the other ones. As you can see, it looks really good and it does almost look like a real roof. Now, it is important to pick a point to where you want to start from, because otherwise your roof is gonna look super wonky. You can also not paint the underside, so you are going to have to see the color of the roof on the inside, which is quite sad, but it's all right. And now for the other side, you gotta make sure to check where your roof ends, because it can get quite tricky like that, but as you can see, we will have a tiny gap. So I will try and remove the wall that we built against and then do the same steps over, but connect to the edges over here, which is clearly not working. Okay, so if you go to the middle part of it, the middle part of this, roof that we already placed. It does look okay. So I'm gonna try and continue that. Maybe we should have started on the other side so that it would have been easier because we are building differently. So I'm gonna mirror it and just gonna come from the back to the front. And I think that will be easier because we are mirroring everything. So my placement grid is on the middle one. So not the small one, not the big one, but the middle one. Thought that was important to mention and I kind of forgot to do that. Yeah, and I'm gonna go to the middle one right here and just continue my way. And the middle one should be just enough to have like a nice fitting roof that doesn't interfere with anything else. Waiting for it to invert and there you go. So you always move one block and as you can see it will be inverted until you get to this point over here. Going to the middle part and I wonder how much it is for one plank. I think this roof will be quite expensive but less expensive than using stairs. So it's 218 for each plank. And there's one sad fact though, you can't really place windows in it. Now another annoyance is that if you want to build under that roof, you are going to have to zoom into it like that. But that's a small thing of course. I'm gonna go back into the lowest floor so that I don't have the grid bothering me. And there we go, we already have the first part of the roof, which is quite the big thing already. Of course, to make it a little bit nicer, I'm going to go back into structural. I'm gonna be using the rod over here, maybe the standard one. And to finish that off, to make it look a little bit thicker, I'm gonna try and place that in the middle over here. Just drag it through to the other side. There we go. I think that kind of like closes it off. Same here. And then of course on top as well, on top of the roof. 
And you can also do the sides, but that's for later. We're gonna continue first. To close these, we're going to go for the vertical plank, not the horizontal one. Gonna click the top part here, gonna go back to the top part over here and continue our way down like that. And then same thing, you just wanna like copy what you just did. So usually what I do is I just click a point here and connect it to the other side. Maybe the middle part would be fun if that works. <laughs> or you can create a wall. So you just kind of want to like fill that up. Now, as you can see, this is a really hard to layer. So if you want to keep it easy, like I usually do, <laughs> I know I'm, I'm one for the like easy builds, but ugh, can't be bothered. I usually just go for something like that, connect my roof, if it wants to stay in place, that is. Maybe add another part to it, something like this. But from the outside, it looks like that. So you can layer it like this inside. Now what you will have inside is you will see the edges though, but I, I feel like that's okay. And then I create with the rods that I just used, put my placement grid on small, and then in the rods, you go all the way into the corner here, drag it all the way up to the other corner, just like that. Then same thing, you go to the second floor, you look inside the nook here, take the corner out, just like that, go into the corner over here. So it's really tricky to do, but you can create a fake window like that. And there you have your fake window on the top floor. Now, of course, you need to paint that in the same color you're gonna do your house. So I kinda want a, like a light blue house for this one or just like a little bit darker blue maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna go for a lighter blue, this ain't it. Maybe brick will do the trick. Wow, I'm a poet. And then of course you can decorate it to your liking. So what I usually do then is like add a little sleeping nook in here. So I'm gonna just do a three by three like that. Add a ladder. So here somewhere, maybe here, so that we can actually manage to get underneath the roof. And now the roof is quite pitchy, so I don't know if a bed will fit underneath. Oh yes, it will. So I'm gonna go for a double bed. I'm gonna like put it against the window just like that. I think that looks super cute. And then of course we need a front door and a window. And for lighting, I'm gonna keep it really cozy. Something like that is what I wanted to do to the sides, but it didn't work out. Does it come through the roof? No, it does not. And of course, if you want to add something to the sides, you can always do that by going back into structural, going into the rods, maybe the standard rod, or maybe it should be a little bit thicker. But you can always add a roof trim like that. I'm gonna go for a little bit of a thicker one, so maybe the large one will do. Yeah, the large one will be better for this build. And then just something like this, and connect it to the same outside part here, something like that. And then on top, gonna do the same thing, just connect it, and then same from the bottom to the top. And as you can see, we have a nice roof trim now. Also gonna do it on the sides here. Now, this is quite hard if you already have a lot of stuff going on for you. So you really need to go into that detail part and try and manage it out like that. But there you go, you have your roof trim. Going out of build mode and entering the house, as you can see, the window looks quite real. Going inside the house, this is your first floor, and then you can go up to the second floor, which is super cozy. Of course, <laughs> there should be a wall here as well, but I didn't really finish that. And as you can see, you can definitely manage to go around here and sleep inside your bed. This is just like a nice area. You don't even have to have a full second floor for this. I think this is amazing. However, I'm kind of sad that we don't have real slanted roofs, but I hope that's coming in the future. If you want to create a dormer, of course you can do that. You just find the right area and create your dormer like that and continue your roof all the way on the other side as well but that is a bit of extra work you also need to create your roof a little bit higher but as you can see it creates a little bit of extra space inside so that you can manage to have some slanted roof and then some dormers as well of course that's a lot of work but I feel like this is worth it in the end and especially like I feel like the main use for this is tiny houses or European themed houses but like don't build an entire bathroom and stuff inside here because it can get quite tricky and you can't really divide into rooms which is quite annoying. But yeah, this is nice. An A-frame house is definitely worth it as well. If you build your roof higher, you can definitely like continue this down and then create like real walls inside it. So for A-frame houses, cabins and tiny houses, I feel like this is amazing. I don't know if it would work for a family homes because this is quite like the niche thing to do. But I do like this a lot and I just wanted to show you how to do it. I hope this cleared some things up. I know this video was a little bit messy, but the building process of this is a bit messy and chaotic as well. So yeah, I, I just hope this helped you out a little bit more. It's a little bit chaotic and hard to do. So definitely for small builds, not for bigger builds, unless you want to spend a lot of time on it. Now, that was it for today. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Hit that like button and please subscribe.